Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen. Not everyone is fortunate enough to have been born in the USA with its freedom. Mary! from towers with machine guns pointed down at anyone who gazes west to the freedom all so near and they have built a curtain made of iron and bamboo that slithers like a snake around the globe it's somehow from the prison camps it echoes to Red Square A song of hope and victory About a wall in Jericho And when the people shouted At Joshua's command When they heard the mighty trumpet sound The stones began to crumble As the earth began to shake triumphant as the walls came tumbling down And sometimes we are builders of those very walls ourselves When we choose to hate instead of love A hardened heart is like a wall with every crossing closed Oh, listen, church, unto a song about a wall in Jericho the people shouted at Joshua's command when they heard the mighty trumpet sound. The stones began to crumble as the earth began to shake. God's people stood triumphant as the walls Wesley Brown. The song is called The Wall. It's from his Kingdom of Love album, Brand New on Sparrow. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. Scott Wesley Brown. He's doing a marvelous thing. He um, has set up a nonprofit corporation specifically designed to aid countries, Africa for one, and People behind the Iron Curtain, musicians prim primarily behind the Iron Curtain, uh, going to be doing a project with uh, Scott Wesley in the next couple of days, as a matter of fact, uh, where I personally will learn more about it and share it with you. Uh, going to do a show for him uh, that will be played on Christian radio stations about the ministry that he has behind the Iron Curtain. Uh, they're still in trouble, folks. 
They really are. It's still an oppressed society. It is still a godless society. They still do not have freedoms. And it's interesting to observe people when they go behind the Iron Curtain and come back, uh, how much they value the freedoms that we have. I take it for granted. I'll be the first to admit to you. I flat out take it for granted. I do not realize what I have. I don't realize it. When I went to Israel several several years ago now, um, I was appalled that I couldn't watch my favorite television shows. <laughs> what they had were reruns of old bonanzas. Uh, what else do they have reruns of? Dallas was the only current thing that they were running. Great example to the Mideastern Bloc countries of um, our American decadence in society, which is exactly what they love. Uh, the third world mentality does anyway. They love to portray American, Americans as being incredibly decadent and uh, uh, sinful in all of its ways, and this is, what, this is why we build walls to protect you. As he was singing that song, I'm thinking, how in this world could a group of people, we as Americans would never allow somebody to wall us in, right? But if you look at the mentality of we are walling others out, Okay? If you can get the people to believe that, no, what we're doing is not walling you in, we are walling decadence out. So we are, in fact, protecting you from them. Then you can erect all the walls you want to erect, and we'll buy it. But if you're keeping me from freedom, that's another thing. But if we can make ourselves believe that the walls we put up keep others out and keep negative things out, keep bad things from hitting us, and boy, we'll put up all the walls they ask us to put up, won't we? You got the Larry Black Show. This is a brand new thing that Brown Bannister produced for the Imperials. It's called Let the Wind Blow. There's a storm on the horizon. Thunder in the heavens Oh, let the wind blow Let the rain pour down from the sky above Let the tempest pour till it's had enough I'm trusting in the Lord of love Let the wind blow There is lightning in the distance
materials and let the wind blow. What kind of walls have you built? Have you built walls to keep others out or to keep yourself from escaping to freedom and light? I don't know. Only you can answer that. What kind of walls have you built? Hmm. That's just an interesting thought. I'm not even going to explore it for you. I sat here during that record and thought, gee, there are so many ways you can go with that. I'm just going to leave it with you. Are the walls that you have built to keep others from getting in to you and all of your freedoms, or is it to keep you from escaping? I don't know. You got the walls. I don't. I got my own walls, and I know why I built them, and I know why I am struggling to tear them down. Because I don't think God wants me to have those walls. They keep me from others. That's what they do to me. Keep me from others. I build walls to protect me so that people can't get to me or so that I don't have to see the needs of others and then respond to them. That's why I build walls. You're listening to The Larry Black Show. If you'd like to write, I would love to hear from you. The Larry Black Show, Post Office Box 25210, Nashville, Tennessee, 37202. The Larry Black Show, Box 25210, Nashville, Tennessee, 37202. If you'd like to write, we'll send you the newsletter. Oh, I got something else. Now, don't everybody in the world write for this. And I very rarely tell you to write for something, right? Because I can't afford the postage, to be honest with you. But I got in the mail the other day a bumper sticker. I hate bumper stickers. I do not have a single bumper sticker on any car that I have ever driven. I don't like them. I'm putting this one on my car. <laughs> it simply says, I love, and it says love over a heart. Most of them say, you know, I heart my dog, I heart New York City, I heart Chicago, I heart Walsall, Wisconsin, I heart Ocean Springs, Mississippi, right? I heart Sacramento, California. Uh, they say that. This one says I heart, but it also has love written across it. And blue background, all that stuff. It's really, it's nice. It just came in the mail to me, and I found out where I could order some. And it says, I love my family. I like that. I love my family. I've got a few of them coming. If you want one, write and ask for it, and I'll make sure you get one. And um, I, got a, I got a bunch of them coming to me. The guy said he'd send me a bunch of them free. And so all I got to do is pay the postage to get it to you if you want it. Uh, I'll send it to you. I just think it's neat. I think more people ought to have that on their bumper sticker. I'm going to put one on my car. It says, I love my family. The Larry Black Show Box 25210, Nashville, Tennessee, 37202. This
Perez Band. No more long because S O S. Did it it da 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 did it it. Those of you that know Morris Code, how many of you do? Show of hands. How many of you know Morris Code? No, it's not the kid that lives down the street. I'm sorry. Final code. No, it's Morris Code. Did it it da 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 did it it. Got it. <laughs> My name is Da Da It Da 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 It Da 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 Da. Larry. Well, that takes me back a long way. <laughs> Morris Code. Where'd I come up with that? SOS. That's Res Band. Those of you that remember Resurrection Band, that's Res Band, and you, of course, know that. The rest of you, uh, they had another name. I. They are primarily known now as Res Band, simply Res Band, because I guess most people couldn't identify with Resurrection or something. I identify with Resurrection. Because when God the Father sends his son Jesus Christ back, I am going. I'm out of here. I'm history. Let me tell you about it. If you'd like to write it, it's the Larry Black Show, Box 25210, Nashville, Tennessee, 37202. Box 25210, Nashville, Tennessee. I've heard stories of heaven, pavement made of gold, ageless beauty forever, and Overwind. They've been laying low for a while. I guess they've been doing a lot of concerts and stuff. They, I guess this will be the third album. I only know the first two. The first one I really liked. The second one I thought they uh, did not excel on. If this is an example of what's coming in the new album, I know I'm going to like it. Heaven is being with you. There's a group back there called Koinonia. Some of the hottest musicians in L.A., studio musicians, guys that, you know, work in the studio as a full-time occupation, and they all have a love for Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah! Ah. I like it. 
like that. Sorry. <laughs> I just flat out get carried away with that stuff. You're writing, it's the Larry Black Show. Box 25210. Nashville, Tennessee, 37202. The Son of God says to you, I will give you light if you ask for it. Ask for it. If I can help you ask for it, let me know. If you'd like to help financially with the program, it's a tax-deductible contribution. Haven't built any cities or cathedrals lately, just trying to get the show out. If you want to help with it, do it. I'll be back. 